Hello everyone, it's Crystal Ether here. This isn't part of the usual schedule, but as it's less than a week before 2024, I'd like to cover the third anniversary select banner in Helios Rising Heroes before it disappears. As these special cards celebrate a milestone, the third anniversary cards won't be joining the Calling Gacha pool after the banner ends. I'll be recommending some of the standout cards in the set, as there's no specific date for a future rerun for these limited cards. Before we begin, I just want to make a note that if you really, really like the card, then go for it. This is a single player game, so you should enjoy your roster how you like. The poster boy himself brings offensive support with a burn damage modifier and critical rate boost, with respectful cooldowns for both skills. The third anniversary actor's kit is simple but effective, making him a good pick for any foes who lack debuff immunity. Critical rate buffs are becoming increasingly common among 4 star cards, which makes dealing damage more accessible to new players. However, critical rate itself can only go so far unless it's paired with critical damage buffs, something that will need to be provided externally as Akira himself lacks an easily accessible method to buff critical damage. Compared to his first anniversary card, the third anniversary Akira can slot into quest farming or boss battles easily, but his first anniversary version has an edge in boss battles with a stackable defense down debuff. However, if you have either card, you don't need the other. They are side grades that are luxurious, nice to have. The third anniversary ride takes after his first anniversary version, enabling his team's burst skills throughout the battle. His buffs are set and forget stackable buffs that have no cost requirement besides the initial cooldown, which can be decreased through limb breaking. Bringing both critical rate and critical damage is a big plus for third anniversary Brad, who has to compete with first anniversary Marion as a technique offensive supporter. Gameplay-wise, Brad's consistency makes him one of the better 3rd anniversary heroes, though the low modifiers in his skill set means that his effectiveness is slow to ramp up and limits his ability to contribute in survive events unless Brad receives skill cooldown effects. Like his initial version, this card can spell a foe's buffs. It's situationally useful but finds use against event bosses as it's becoming increasingly common for them to carry buffs at the start of the battle. Outside of his dispel, Victor brings some basic utility to the team such as healing and attack down with a short cooldown on the second skill after the initial cooldown period. Third anniversary Victor's value comes from his attribute as he won't have much competition amongst his other technique cards in terms of support. However, keep in mind that his utility is limited compared to other support cards who focus purely on offense or defense. Using 3rd Anniversary Nico requires a team that can provide him critical rate buffs, but is well worth the effort of what he can bring to the team. With both a damage modifier and a significant buff to his critical damage, this version of Nico is a hyper carry DPS that the 12th Robins will greatly appreciate with so few of the archetype in their roster. Personally, I would have changed his attack down debuff for a VP charge on critical hit self buff, but otherwise this 3rd Anniversary card is one of the best in the set. For players who are considering any of the 3rd Anniversary cards, I recommend you grab them if you're willing to spend rubies or are in one of the following situations. None of these cards are must-haves, but the 4 that have just been covered stand out for providing consistent value over their peers. The card art is simple yet pretty, and none of the 3rd Anniversary cards are unusable in any circumstance. At the end of the day, Helios remains a single player game, so use your own judgement or simply go for your favourites. These cards are quite special after all. That's all for this analysis. If you enjoyed the content, I'd appreciate if you consider subscribing to the channel. Regardless, I'll see you all in the next video.